what up folks, it's Alex here. You're watching Mr. Alex Tech and that super mellow, chilled out, stylish looking slideshow is what we're gonna be covering in this video today. Now you can make it really easily and quickly in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I'm using DaVinci Resolve 17, but it works exactly the same in DaVinci Resolve 16 as well. Now all of the photographs, including that background image that I use, are available to download free of charge from pexels.com. Check the links down in the description below. Right, with that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and get straight to it. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're currently on the Edit tab. Now the very first thing you want to do before you actually begin, click on DaVinci Resolve in the top left hand corner, go to Preferences, make sure you're on the User tab at the top, Editing from the left hand menu and then down here we've got these general settings. Now what you can do from here is set your standard still duration. So that's the length of time that each image stays on screen by default. So I've currently got it set to one frame, which is really, really short. So all I'm going to do, tick the seconds tick box and then put in there how many seconds you want each photo to stay on screen for. So I'm going to go with five seconds. Now while you're here, it's really handy just to set your standard transition duration as well. I'm going to change that to one second. So I've got one second transition and five seconds for still images. And then we're just going to hit save. And then I've got my timeline here. So I'm just going to grab one of the photos and put it directly onto my timeline and we can start to work with the image. Now, as you can see, the photo is exactly five seconds in length because we've just changed that still duration. Just makes your life way, way easier. So we're going to give it a click and then we're going to open up the inspector in the top right hand corner. And then under here, we've got transform. Now, all I'm going to do is click my mouse on the zoom and zoom out just by dragging across and we can just set the size that we want for this image. So I want a fair bit of background to show, so I'm gonna go with something like that, but of course you can play with it until you're happy with it. Now at the moment, we've got a simple black background. However, if you want a white background like I like to use, then there's a few extra things you need to do. First thing first, just grab your image and slide it up one on the timeline. So it's now on video track two. So you've got this video track one underneath, and this is where we're gonna put our background. Now you can use another image. So I've got this image here, which is a white texture. I can put that underneath like so. And then if I need to, I can just change the zoom to make that bigger. Or if you want a real simple colored background or white background, what you can do, click on the effects library, come down to the toolbox, expand that, then go to generators. Within there, you should see one called solid color. Drag that and put that onto video track one like so. Give solid color a click. Again, within the inspector, on the video tab, you should see this generate and you've got color. Give that a click. And then you just need to change that to white. So I'm just gonna drag this little slider right up to the top and then click on okay. And now we've got a real simple white background. We can just make that as long as we want. And that's perfect. We've got a white background ready for all of our images. So that's starting to look a little bit neater and nicer already. But I wanna add a little drop shadow just to make the photo pop from the background a little bit. Again, really, really easy. Still within the effects library over here, just click on open effects. You need to scroll right down until you see the resolve effects stylized area. And within there, you've got one called drop shadow. Just click hold and drag that onto the image itself. And that'll put this drop shadow around the photograph, just making it stand out from the background. Give the photo a click on your timeline. Again, within the inspector, click on the effects tab, and then there's a few options in here that you can change to affect the drop shadow. So you've got the shadow strength, the angle, the distance, the blur, and the color. So feel free to have a play with these, just to get it looking exactly as you want them. I'm just gonna leave it as default for now. So there we go, we've got our first image sorted, looks really nice, and then we can actually use this image as a template for all the other images within our slideshow. So first things first, I'm just gonna to go to my media pool, and I'm gonna grab the rest of my images. Now, of course you can do these one by one, but if you prefer, you can just hold control on your keyboard. We can click on the, all the images we want to add. And then we can just drag them onto our timeline like so. They'll all be exactly five seconds, again, because we set that still duration at the beginning. And then what we're gonna do is right click on our first image and then go to copy. And then we're gonna highlight all of our other images. So I can just click on an empty space, hold my mouse and drag. So they're all highlighted in red like so. We can then right click on these and we're gonna to go to paste attributes. We're gonna tick this video attributes box, which will just tick all of these boxes. And then we're gonna click on apply. And what that will do is apply all of our zooming, our scaling and our drop shadow to all of the other images 
so they're all roughly the same size. The sizing will be slightly different depending on the aspect ratio of the images, but it should give you a pretty good place to start. If you want to resize any of the photos, you can just give them a click within the inspector, just change the zoom as you need to for each of the different slides. So that's cool. It's starting to look pretty good already. So now we just need to add our video transition. Now I personally really like a nice simple cross dissolve, but it's entirely up to you which one you want to use. But still within the effects library, toolbox, video transitions, and then I'm going to grab a cross dissolve. I'm just going to put it on this edit point like so. And then if we hit play, it looks something like that, which I think works really, really well. So I want to apply that transition to all of the different edit points on our timeline. And there's a really nice, quick, easy way to do that as well. So I'm just going to use my mouse, just click, drag, and we're going to highlight all of these clips like so. And then within the effects library on my cross dissolve, I'm going to right click and I can add to selected edit points and clips. And it'll just apply that transition to all of the different cuts. So we've got that transition going all the way through our slideshow. So one last thing I really like to do is just to add a little bit of movement. It's not much, it's pretty subtle, but it just makes the whole thing a little bit more engaging. So again, effects library, come down to the effects and we're going to grab an adjustment clip. We're going to put that on video track three. So it's above all of our photos and our background. We're just going to drag that out. So it's the same length. We'll give the adjustment clip a click. Again, within the inspector, we're just going to toggle on this dynamic zoom. And all that's going to do is do a real slow zoom all the way throughout our slideshow. Now, at the moment, that's a bit too zoomed in at the beginning for my liking. I want it to be a little bit more subtle. So underneath our big preview window here, we've got this little drop down. Give that a click and then select dynamic zoom. And the green box is our starting point. So as you can see, it's quite small, which is why it's so zoomed in at the beginning. We're just going to drag that to be just a little bit smaller than the frame itself. Something like that. We'll then just toggle this dynamic zoom off just by giving it a click. You can then add some music over the top of this and job done. You've got yourself a real nice, classy, stylish, simple little slideshow. And that's it. Easy as that. And I really like this one. I think it's a really funky, stylish little slideshow that you can either make a full length video of or you can just drop it into a vlog or a video or whatever you're doing, really. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, as always, put them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see some more of this DaVinci Resolve, some tech and some other bits and bobs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. Catch you next time. See ya. Mm -hmm.